What's up guys welcome back to another custom room video and this time we are trying out KOSP 2.3 based on Android 12 for OnePlus 7 series. In this video we'll take a quick look how stable is this room to be used as daily driver. I've been using this room since yesterday and till now no major issues to be found. Quite a stable Android 12 custom room for OnePlus 7 series. So now without wasting any more time let's take a quick look at this custom room based on Android 12. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I have installed this KOSP 2.3. 2.3 based on Android 12. Let's talk about this software information first. And if you take a look at Android version, it says Android version is 12, Krypton version is 2.3. We get 5th Jan 2022 security patch. And also guys, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. Also, we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request to consider subscribing and press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So guys, as said, I've been using my OnePlus 7 Pro from yesterday running this Android 12 custom ROM on the device. And it's a great ROM in terms of performance, stability and also customizations. First, let me show you the benchmark results on this custom ROM with Geekbench application single course code 728 and multi core code 2679 with enter to benchmark application device code 570756 we also did cpu throttling test and where you can see the maximum jips also max cpu throttled up to 94% launcher on this custom room is launcher 12 and trust me guys this launcher comes with lot many options to customize the launcher itself it do support the third-party icon packs which you can download from Google Play Store. Also by default you'll get lot many fonts pre-installed. So to have custom fonts you don't have to root your device. Under home screen you'll get these options. For example you can disable the feed at glance widget, status bar and top shadows. If you want you can also make changes in the icon size and label size. If you don't like to have the clear all button in the recents panel that can also be disabled from here. We do have the support of Monet but I couldn't find the option of themed icon in the wallpaper and style section. We also have quick setting tiles for anti-flickering and single tap to adjust the refresh rate of your device. Where we get three options, one is auto, 60Hz and 90Hz. Basic functionalities works as expected like pickup gesture, fingerprint unlock, alert slider, Volti services and all other sensors including accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass and gyroscope. By default, we get this basic camera application pre-installed, but anytime you can sideload Google Camera APK for OnePlus 7 Pro, I'll provide you the OnePlus stock application. Just download this APK file and you'll be good to go. Also, we do get the support of Widevine L1. And if you take a look at the Netflix application, playback specifications, maximum playback resolution is Full HD and also we have the support of HDR10. So if you guys are into OTT platforms, you don't have to worry about anything. You can enjoy Full HD content on OTT platforms running this custom room. In Google Play Store, it says device is certified. Device also passes the safety net check and that means you guys won't have any kind of issues using payment services. I tested out Google Pay application and there were no issues to be seen while transferring money. We do have updated Google Assistant with features like quick faces and assistant powered voice feature for Google Keyboard. And I guess we get these features on Pixel 6 Pro. So first let's talk about the Google Keyboard. So here you can see towards the right hand side we have the mic for voice typing and if you tap on this you'll get an animated mic here. Towards the left hand side, here you get to see an help icon from where you can check out all the commands. For example, if you are sending any message, just say send, stop to stop voice typing. You also get the options like delete, clear, clear all, undo and many more options. And those things you guys can check out after installing this room. So let me show you an example. What's the weather? Clear. Undo stop and guys response time is too good with this latest google assistant we do have a dedicated gaming mode but no option to monitor fps and now let's take a look at some of the customization options present on this custom room so inside the settings we have a section of krypton settings and from here you can customize your device we also have the support of theme from where you can use custom colors for theming Bit of customization options for status bar, quick setting panel, lock screen consists of show charging info, double tap to sleep and we also have an option of edge light. Later you can use three fingers to take screenshot on this custom room and you can also skip tracks using volume buttons. And another good thing about this custom room, 
we also get the OnePlus stock settings. For example, you can customize the alert slider, stock OnePlus gestures are present and later you can also play around with the vibrator strength. Auto brightness is pretty well calibrated. We get to see pitch dark theme instead of that grayish background. And at last under system you have basic stuff, KOSP updater, gestures which include one handed mode. Overall, it's a great custom room to be used as daily driver. And now let's talk about the installation process. Before installing, make sure your device is running the latest build of Oxygen OS 11 and your device bootloader should be unlocked. After that, you need platform tools and the ROM file. Make sure to use the latest platform tools. All the download links can be found in the description below. Once you extract the platform tools, place the file of ROM inside the platform tool folder. And if you guys are also not aware about unlocking the bootloader, then I'll leave a video guide in the description below. Just follow that video guide and you'll be good to go. After that, boot your device into bootloader. After your device boots into bootloader connected to PC, open up command prompt in the platform tool folder where you have placed the file. Easiest way to open command prompt is type cmd in the address bar and hit enter. After that, just give a command fastboot devices to check whether your device is properly connected in fastboot mode or not. You guys will see a serial number that means your device is properly connected in fastboot mode. And the next step is to flash the ROM file. For that, give a command fastboot update, give a space, drag and drop the ROM file. Once you do that, just hit enter and the installation process would start. The entire process might take around 4 to 5 minutes. Once installation process is completed, your device will boot into custom recovery. From there, just select wipe data and reboot your device. That will happen if you're coming from Oxygen OS. I already had KOSP installed, so a device did not go into recovery. So guys, this was a quick look and installation guide of KOSP 2.3 on OnePlus 7 series. If you still have any kind of questions, you can join a telegram group. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.